Hello everyone, I feel like I haven't sat and made a video like this for so long and I know some of you guys are upset with me for not making videos as regularly as I maybe should be but sometimes life just gets in the way but I'm going to try my best from now on so I can make you guys happy but basically I've got a little haul video for you today which is really exciting um, and it's not Primark for once so I'm just going to show you the bits that I've picked up recently and I really hope you enjoy it. So a couple of nights ago I was in London for some events and on my way back from them I decided to do a little bit of shopping because when I am in London I very rarely get to stop near Oxford Circus, Oxford Street and do some shopping but I was near there so Topshop flagship store was calling me and I decided to go in and have a little shop and yes I did buy some things so I first of all want to show you this which I didn't actually buy a couple of days ago but it is from Topshop and I did buy it a couple of weeks ago so it should still be in the shops even though saying that I think it was actually in the sale which is weird because this is amazing but maybe it's not everyone's taste I don't know so I got this and hopefully you can see it's a little denim sort of straight pinafore it's not really got any shape to it um but i really like that it's just because it's quite short it just is really quite flattering i'm going to try and like take some pictures of it um and put them on instagram or something so you can see what i actually had to do was sew the buttons a little bit higher as you can probably see they were kind of that much longer but because i'm quite short and because of the style, I wanted it to be fairly short. I mean, like, just above knee height, but I didn't want it to be, like, longer than my knees. Longer than my knees? Below knee length? Yes. It's got little pockets on the front, and I really like the kind of um, design on the denim as well. And I just love it. I like wearing little white blouses underneath, or just anything, like, a little top. Like, I wouldn't probably wear this one, because I just prefer to wear it with white for some reason. But anything with like a little sleeve underneath it looks really cute. And it was either £25 or £15. And I want to say it was £15 but I don't remember. So make sure to go and have a look in your Topshop sale if you like things like this. Because you can pick up some amazing bargains in the Topshop sale. I also just ran and found a couple of other things that I bought that day. I totally forgot about them. And I wasn't going to include them in this haul but I will now. So um, they were also from the sale if I didn't say that already. Um, there was this top which is quite unusual for me but I just wanted to pick it up because I liked it. So this is actually a Motel Rocks top that was in the Topshop sale because obviously they're a concession in Topshop. And it's kind of a very sheer kind of um, mesh top and it's got little um, cross beads all over it which is a really nice detail. And it's got like this sweetheart neckline um, like covered up panel if that makes sense so it's actually um a little crop toppy type thing underneath so you could probably unattach that if you wanted to wear something totally um covered up underneath it i'm not explaining this very well am i but yes i got this and it was 15 pounds in the sale so it's a bit um autumn wintry really but i just thought it was quite edgy and because it was in the sale i decided to pick it up and something else which was in the sale and it looks very kind of sombre for this time of year but I wanted to get it anyway because I love this brand. This is a Jones and Jones dress. I probably shown I probably showed you guys my blue version of this that I got in a sale last year um, around winter time. So it's obviously I got a summery one in winter and a wintry one in summer. But um, anyway, I just love them and they're usually about sixty pounds. Now, I just love the fullness of the skirt. I've got like layers of tulle underneath. I don't know how well you can see that. So they really kind of stand out. Um, this has got a high neckline and the top is made of a lace material. They're just really nicely made. Um, again, I'm going to probably save this for winter because when I tried it on, I just felt a little bit like, like I was going to a funeral. Um, but saying that, I do really like it. And it was £15 down from like 60 odd pounds or 60 pounds so I just love it and I love the blue one more but I just had to get this because they're such a bargain and they're beautiful dresses so now on to what I got a couple of days ago I've actually got some of it on so I'll show you on me in a minute but I want to show you this first so I couldn't resist picking this up most of you will probably think I'm crazy because I don't live in California or anywhere that's hot 
but I don't care because I want to wear this for like my birthday barbecue. So basically it's a little top with a kind of um, like tropical print, kind of leafy blues and greens and it's a crop top. Um, basically all there is to say about it and it's just got a little square neckline which I really love and I've taken the tag off but I think it was um, £22. But it also has, or you can purchase with it, a matching skirt. Now, I loved it. And when I saw it, I, I have to admit, I saw it on the mannequin. And I thought that looked so cool because they match. Um, this is like a little sort of um, granny-esque pleated. Um, no, it's not pleated, but it's just a kind of granny type of skirt that you would probably find in a charity shop for about £2, I have to say. But it's got um, like slits up the... Um, front but they don't go up really high so it's not like one of those really weird dresses with just the panel in the middle if that makes sense I've tried it all on because it's top shop it's not like Primark where you can just kind of think oh I'll bring it back if it doesn't work definitely have to try things on in top shop and it just looked so cool so definitely gonna have to get some pictures of me in this outfit I don't care if it rains all summer I'm going to wear it um, so the skirt was 35 so it's kind of fairly pricey outfit if you're kind of a Primark girl like me but I really really love it and I know I'll get a lot of wear out of it and I'm really into like little suits and things that match at the moment so that was absolutely perfect for me. I also picked up these which I wasn't sure about they're the only thing I didn't try on but I really needed some new leggings but leggings are just so thin so I decided to go for these. I don't know how well you can see the button and the zipper but they're very very much like um, disco pants but they're made of more of a legging material but they're thick and they've got the back pockets as well again I'm not sure if you can see them um, so they're not leggings and I'd feel a lot more comfortable just wearing these and a top because I hate walking around in just leggings and a shorter top or even one that's quite long I just don't like it for some reason but these are absolutely perfect they're kind of half jodhpur half leggings half disco pants i know you can't get that because that doesn't work with fractions but they're really really nice that's what i'm trying to say and i like them and they were 25 pounds so i think these are a great staple piece for anyone's wardrobe because they're just so versatile so pick those up now on to what i'm wearing so i'm going to try and show you so the first thing I picked up was this little crop top and this is what it looks like on um, and I love crop tops but I have to admit some of the ones I've been getting I haven't been wearing because they're very short and I've just not been brave enough but lately I've thought right I'm going to put some tan on and I'm going to just embrace the crop top trend especially with high waisted things because then you've only got like a small bit of your stomach on show and I just don't think it's as revealing. Um, so yeah, this is £8 and I do so many different colours, so I thought £8, that was quite good. It's made of like um, a really nice material, it's not sheer at all, and I've been wearing it all day and I feel really comfortable in it. So that's this crop top. And then, I might have to zoom out to show you these, but these are like my pride and joy now, I love them so much. You might have seen me Instagram a picture of them where I said I'm now officially a mum or a mom, mom as Americans would say. So I think I like confused a few people because I didn't realise people didn't know what mum jeans were. But yeah, it was a joke basically. I got mum jeans. So I'm just going to stand up basically and see if you can see them. So mum jeans are these. Hopefully you can see what they look like. And these are the dark acid wash, I think. These were the only ones they had in my size. And I just really like them. Um, so they're kind of like a lot Bag I'm so sorry I'm not showing these well at all. They're a lot baggier jeans than I would usually wear and they're rolled up at the bottom so they're perfect length on me because these are the, um, I'll sit back down you've seen enough. Um, they're the 32 length, 32 inch length. Um, so they're perfect for me. They're rolled up at the bottom and they're, they're really high waisted and they just fit so well. I just thought they're not going to suit my body shape because they're just going to be too slouchy. I think I suit things better, like skinny jeans, but no. I don't like to sit here and say they suit me so well, but I just I just feel so comfortable in them. They're so nice and I want to get some more. They were £40 as most Topshop jeans are, regardless of like the style. Most of them are £40. 
but I would say they're worth every single penny. I have not been as excited about a pair of trousers since I bought my disco pants back when I got them from American Apparel originally. That's so sad, I know, but I love them so, so much, and I just highly recommend them. So they're the mom jeans, as in M-O-M. So I wasn't trying to be American by saying I'm a mom. They're called mom, mom jeans. That settles that little debate. So the final thing I want to show you in my haul video today is not from Topshop, they're actually from Monkey. <laughs> I can never say that right either because that's like Mon. Monkey, Monkey, however you say it, are these. So I got them home and I thought, hmm, do they look a little bit pyjamary? But I do like my pyjamary style trousers, I have to say. So they look like this. This is kind of not very good, is it, of me showing you because I'm a bit zoomed in today. They're really kind of slouchy, baggy, after me saying I don't like slouchy trousers, slouchy, baggy trousers. Again, I would wear these really high-waisted because they're super long. Um, and I tried them on when I got home. Again, I didn't try them on in the shop. And I actually really like them. So again, with maybe like a shorter crop top or something tucked in, I really think these will work nicely. They're a bold print, and the best part is they were only... £15, which I think is a massive bargain. A monkey is really reason reasonably priced in there. So I've picked those up as well. So hopefully you will see all of this in blog posts or Instagrams soon because I'm working on revamping all my blog at the moment, which should be up very, very soon, which is really exciting because I've neglected it a lot over the last few months. But there's been reasons for that because there's lots of new, exciting things to come. So that concludes my haul video for today. I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and I'll be back with another video soon. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And please make sure you're subscribed if you're not already so that you get notifications every time I put up a new video. And then I won't slack anymore because lots more of you will be asking when a new video will be up. So yeah, thank you for watching everyone. I'll speak to you later. Bye!